Gang, gang, what is up? I am so, so excited. It's currently about six o'clock and the weather is absolutely beautiful and I am so, so happy about it. And I cannot wait to get outside and get taking photographs because we are going on a color walk thing. So how does a color walk thing work? You pick a single color. I'm choosing orange because orange is sick. And so I will keep an eye out for the color orange. Every time I notice the color orange, I will take a photo of it and I will also then go in that direction wherever it leads me. And that's going to be fun because whenever I go out and take photos, I'm always thinking about like contrast, beautiful light, beautiful... Mm. But this is such a different way to force me to think about something else. And secondly, I think it's going to really help show off how much color there actually is around the place. I think it's very easy to be like, oh no, it's all dull and grey, it's all glass, it's all bricks it's all blah, blah, blah. in actual fact there's so much more color in the environment than we think there will be so many different random things that are orange that i've never noticed before that i've then got to take photos of and i've got to try and make them look nice I'm not saying that all of the photos will look nice a lot of them probably will be trash but that is the plan we are at king cross now heading to get the number one orange item that ever been created a pairing <laughs> oat milk flat white time to start the color walk three two one this is the underwhelming start i guess is that orange okay we'll we'll run with it minutes or so and already I'm in a completely new area. There was a workman that was wearing orange trousers that followed him down this like random path. But look at this, it's so interesting because that is just like perfectly illuminated and I love how you see the light just giving this kind of like weird sort of like aura around it. Probably camp here for a little bit, see if anyone with orange walks by and if so, get some bangers. Industrial state. Look how cool that looks. With the light shining straight through, it looks so sick. So, I'm gonna play around with that. Then, I think I'm gonna head back down to the main road, go from there, find some more or wrong. things that I've started to realize. Number one, you could do this at any time of day. You're not looking for beautiful compositions because of the light, you're looking for color. And that to me is so exciting. It's another opportunity to do something anytime. If you've only got an hour, get out there, go on the color walk. Secondly, there are so many glimpses of color everywhere. There will be a time where I see like a cyclist helmet that looks sick, it's bright orange, and I try and capture it, but I can't because my settings aren't dialed in. You see shots and you miss them. And then it makes you want to get a, another. It makes you want to keep on going, keep trying, keep on experimenting, trying different things. So, so far, this is a 10 out of 10. Today's already been super dope there, but even better, the shop gave me an extra coffee for free. Now I've got a orange pre-drink snack. That is so joke. Just bought some lip balm that was like, oh yeah, it's sun cream. Look at it. Oh my God. <laughs>
can honestly say that that was so much fun and I'm probably going to do it again with just a different colour. It was so good to get out and explore a different area, to be led in different ways because I think it's very easy to fall into the same pattern where you shoot the same thing over and over again just in different ways and this really forced me to do something different and I can highly highly recommend it to anyone that is considering it I guess. And so I was also quite liberal in terms of what I was taking photos of. Some people are very on it being like I am only taking photos of this colour. Whereas I just wanted to use this as a way to explore and to see different things and to really be creative. And that's something that if I was you and you were considering doing this I would definitely have that perspective rather than being anal about shooting one colour. If you are considering going out and doing this I would highly, highly recommend doing it. Tag me in your photos. As always, like, comment, subscribe. We'll hopefully do some more cool shit on this channel. And shout out to Simon, who is a London photographer who has seen one of my videos, is apparently one of my 100 subscribers, and uh, yeah, said hi to me in the street. So that was pretty mental that someone recognized me and said that they enjoyed my work. That was super motivating. If anyone else is in London, feel free to say hi, hit me up, let me know when you're out shooting. And until next time, peace.